Hello and welcome to the Morphing Loft. It's always an operation to do these videos, but we're kicking it into overdrive with the drive tracker from Operation Overdrive. But we all know it's really a morpher. But at the Morphing Loft, we like to keep it interesting, so we have a surprise for you. Not only are we reviewing the drive tracker, but we're reviewing the turbo edition of the drive tracker, the limited edition version with a much more interesting color scheme. Even before you open it, you can tell this version of the tracker is so much more interesting. You've got the clear orange on the back, which the only downside is you can see that it runs on AA batteries, which I'm assuming real morphers don't. And on the front, you have the gold detailing. It's almost like it's used by the red Sentinel Ranger, which comes on later in the show. Inside, it's white instead of the red and black, and you get more of the orange with yellow buttons, and it looks really bright. It feels bigger than the original drive tracker. Even though they're the same size, it feels a lot bigger because of the brighter color scheme. And it works exactly the same. So you're not missing out when I show you this and how it works. When you turn it on, you get an activation noise and it lights up in the middle. And there's so much you can do with this morpher. You get normal button sounds. The call button gives you an alarm sound and the light up. And then on the screen, you've got loads of the detailing from how to use this morpher, which is really great. It does use decoder mode as well, which is something that in other later series or earlier series, they'd have missed out this feature. But I think it's a really important feature. Although Overdrive wasn't an overly appreciated show and has quite a lot of negative feedback, the toys were actually really great. So in decoder mode. And you get a light on the end. And I really like this feature. However, the issue for me is if you're using it as a decoder or a scanner, you'd like to think that it has a feel that it is scanning. The light stays lit for a while, but aside from that, you don't get a beep, 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 or a finish noise or anything to feel like it's really scanning or being used or decoding even. And then of course you have a morphing sound. And that will keep revving until you activate the morpher, which is done by this spinny part down here, which in the show, they strike down their arm, which is a really nice activation. When they say vehicle go, I was really hoping it was gonna be, you press the number of the vehicle of the Zord, and then it does it. But vehicle ready is all it says, so you don't get any more. And then it has a Megazord feature. And that alarm will keep sounding until you press all the buttons. However, if you don't do the full sequence and then spin, it has an error, which again is something that I feel like they're missing out on, having individual Zord features. But this is how it works. And then you get Megazord sounds. I don't think it really feels like a Megazord activation sound. I think it feels a bit more like a battleizer sound or a transforming weapon sound, which is a bit disappointing. Like it was a series based around vehicles. So you could have done so much more with that. Overall, I really like this tracker. I think it's a lot more interesting than the real tracker. Although this is the traditional part of it. I think this mode is a real bonus to it. So I would recommend getting it. The only downside with this tracker in general and both of them actually, is in the show they have them mounted on their arm and there's no strap or attachment that comes with it to do that. In Super Sentai, they actually had a little pocket that it went into, which again was a really nice feature. Whereas this, you just have to shove in your pocket or carry around. So I think that really lets the series down a bit in the toy version. But overall, it's a really great morpho. I would recommend it. This matches the Red Sentinel Battleizer, which I will be doing a review on soon. And also if you have it on, it randomly makes an alarm sound until you push a button. Which is a nice feature because then if you're playing, you think, oh, I'm getting an unexpected call. So it's a great piece for kids as well. So thank you for watching this video. Like, comment, follow and subscribe for more videos, more photos, and of course, may the power protect you.